I can't stop anywhere without seeing any iconic builder. We just talked to three of them. I just found another one. He's a little busy signing autographs, too. His name is Troy Ladd. He's with Hollywood Hot Rods. Troy's been picking up some momentum, building some awesome vehicles. He's supported by my good buddy Jim Aust over there, who's... These guys are cashing in, selling their novelties. With the popularity of these car builders, you can see they have a variety of novelty items, whether it's T-shirts, clocks, keychains, hats. People are loving them. People are wearing them. People are representing. I'm going to butt in over here and see if we can get Troy to say a few words to us. <laughs> hey, Troy. Uh, looks like you got a pretty popular crowd over here so far. Say hi to our viewers at Revan TV. Hi, Troy Ladd, Hollywood Hot Rods, Grand National Roadster Show, and we're having a good time today. So. Hey, how about we take our guys on a little sneak peek on what you got we in got store? A lot to look at. Let's go. Uh, how much time do you have? <laughs> yeah, as much time as we can. Yeah, all right, let's, let's go. go. So, um, actually, we have our bare metal cars, everything in our booth is kind of naked. So, we can talk about that stuff. We also have an amber car in contention for the big trophy. So. You want How about we end with that one? In with that one. Cool. Let's That's talk a little bit about this look has been really popular, okay. and you're, so, you're staying true. So basically, here's our first one. It's 32 Roadster Pickup. Um, it's all handmade. We we really build these things per the customer, per the per customer's style, per uh, you know his taste and creativity, and not a, not two cars are ever the same. So um, we like this just because it's uh, it's a good looking old car. So, so Troy, how's it work? Uh, I've done pretty well. I got a few dollars. I want you to build a vehicle for me. I kind of give you an idea of what I'm looking for, kind of give you a little spirit of what I'm going for, and then I let you do your deal. Yeah, typically when people come to us, they already know what my style, they know what we do, because we, you're going to come here because you like our particular version of the art, and it is art. And I sell the experience. You don't come, you don't give me a check and I give you a car. We come, you, you, you come to the shop, we hang out, we talk about your car, and it's a whole process, because you need to have fun with the build. And so many people get bogged down in the build part of it, and that should be the most fun. And then when it's done, the bonus is you get the car and you get to drive it. So, so how it works is we come up with an idea, come up with a concept, I'll work it out, I design something, I work with an artist, This uh, here's some interesting art. All of the cars here have art, and we're using Eric Black of, of E Black Design Company. So we brainstorm, we draw up the idea, and from drawings we build a car. Let's check out another one. Okay. You see the crowds building up here. This yeah. is just the beginning. This, this okay, we're gonna have to like bust into the crowd here. This car here. Let's this, bust through. Yeah, this, this car is a three-year work in progress. Three years? Three years so far. Is that about? Is, speaking of that, what, what is the average build time? There's no average. Okay. It, it depends on the complexity of the car. The car we're about to look at is a coach built, which means uh, it didn't exist. This is just a concept that we came up with on paper and design, and then wow, we built a car from paper. Let's check it out. So this is it. We call it the Mohan Speedster. And it's based on, well, where do you want me? Here yeah, we go. We'll go yeah, over here. Cool. Sure. Um, it's based on very vintage, elegant Hollywood custom car feel of the, you know, the late 30s, early 40s era. Um, kind of the Great Gatsby yeah, sort of thing. I was going to say the Great Gatsby look. Um, but again, this was all designed on paper, and most of this is hand-built from nothing. Now, we, it's, we call it a Packard. It's got a Packard grill, Packard grill show. There's some, there is some vintage pieces, so it does have some soul of, you know, of a real vintage car. But most of it's just our own interpretation of this you know, art. Well, that has to be a perfect example of the fact there is no average time to build a car. When you're creating yeah. it on paper, well, with that in mind, how many hours we got in this? Holy moly, you know, how many hours? You're talking three years of full-time labor of at least one person in the last year, two full-time guys. So, I mean, do the math on that. I can't do the know? math on this a long time. And, and I'll tell you what, in the last month to get here, just to show it in this construction, this is a construction, under construction state, we've got four guys, like, full time on it. Jamming. We all have time sanding on it. And, you know, this is steel. It's made of 18-gauge uh, steel. And so to get a, a polished, finished a uh, custom car. I mean, this has been welded and shaped all by hand. Yeah. So this is, there's no Bondo covering up what you see. So you can see a reflection of a very, not perfect, but near perfect surface without Bondo or paint. So that's hey, a big deal. Hey, tell, uh, tell our viewers who those four guys are that are kind of helping you out with this. Who are the guys in your shop? Well, the guys that worked on this particular project, uh, Sean Ramage, he did all of the sheet metal. He's the one that actually formed the sheet metal body. Nice we, job, Sean. Yep. <laughs> we also got uh, uh, Kyle Canole. He did the chassis and framework. Now, the original frame, there's a figure eight frame under that was done by uh, a guy by the name of TJ okay. and uh, TJ Del Rimple, and he did that. And then the last week, 
we got myself, uh, Smokey, uh, uh, Chris Camacho. We all kind of jumped, jumped in. in. Did you get Austin to jump in as well? Yeah. Just, nope. <laughs> no. Why are done right? No offense, Jim. <laughs> Go sell some t-shirts. Hey, let's take a peek what's over here. Okay. Uh, 32 Ford Deluxe. Yeah, this, this again, another another kind of a concept. This is a 32-3 window, yeah. but uh, it's really a conceptual design with more of a European sports car element. So a lot of this is designed off of Bugatti. So the exhaust and the, uh, the, the some of the trim and some of that stuff is really based on a, a more of a Bugatti sports car. So we're mixing American hot rod with the European sports car heritage. Let's point out a few of those uh, those little features, if you don't mind. Okay. We talked about the exhaust. Before we yeah. make our way over there, anything else? going to go there it's not there yet but you can see on the drawings that that's where that would go um, a lot of things that are different about this car is it's it's been chopped sectioned twice reshaped front cowl reshaped side cowl uh, we v but did a, a v-shape on the windshield did a v-shape on the on the upper uh, 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 roof uh, insert there's also uh, an oval window that's typically not split but we thought a split window would look good we that looks really good yeah. And we reshaped the entire back, more of a European proportion, where it's a smaller deck lid moved up. And uh, it just kind of comes together as, again, an American hot rod with some European flair. So The wheels are so much a part of the look. How did you come up with the wheel uh, consideration on this particular vehicle? Um, these particular wheels for this display are actually just temporary rollers. <laughs> don't look too bad. They don't. They don't. Um, we are going to end up with wire wheels. Oh, okay. So we thought that these would be a nice a nice roller until we pick the, the perfect wheel. So that's still going to happen. Um, and wheel and tire makes or breaks a car, you know. Yeah, so no, no, That's why I was asking. Okay, cool. Let's get the coup de grace. All right. Check this one out, guys. Um, so then this is our... Uh, our AMB architecture and AMBR is American Most Beautiful Roadster, obviously, and that's what the the, the that's main, what it's all about. So that was it's the main. Uh, that's the prize, right? Part of the show. So this is what we brought, and uh, 32 Ford Roadster. Uh, we worked uh, in conjunction with Scandinavian Street Rods. Scandinavian Street Rods originally started this project, and then we finished it and brought it here. And um, it's a 32 with a very traditional style, a little bit of European flair with the way the stitch work is on the interior and the wire wheels. And those are solid stainless wire wheels uh, that we had made in England. Looks um, spectacular, incidentally. Thank you. Yeah, we thought it was a nice, a nice addition to the car. And the, the owner of this car is based out of Norway. So when it's done, it'll ship to Norway and then, you know, we got something coming down the pike, Norway. Yep. I can't I can't stop looking at the engine. Could you give us a little bit of an idea of what's going on under there, please? Yep, vintage Ford flathead, uh, fin aluminum heads, uh, SCOT blower, um, chrome uh, Stromberg carburetors, all the goodies, all all the vintage goodies with a lot of polished aluminum. You know, it's it's good stuff. So how do you let some of these cars go, man? After you've got all your heart and soul, and they come out so you know great looking, uh, are you able to cut that cord? Ah, it's tough. I want to keep them all. That's what I mean. So, and you know, I'd, I'd drive this every day, right? And and actually the little coupe that we just looked at earlier, that was my car. That was a design for me. And then somebody else needed it more than me. So, you know, but it's, easy, it's easier to build with when it's for somebody else because you can, uh, it's hard to find the time. You well, know? When one goes, we know that we've got another one coming down the pike too, right? right. Hey, uh, Troy, thanks so much for spending a few, uh, few minutes with us here. Uh, folks, we're going to run it back to the studio. We're live at Revin News.